everybody, everybody was on the same page as of the time they were going into the field. The next one. Other strategies that we use, close questions that allow respondents to make a choice of the pre-coded response options. Some questionnaires were administered on the final sample, I mentioned that. Training of enumerators, I've talked about that. Then we use the simple random sampling technique for SMEs and the secondary educational institutions. The next slide. The statutory framework. We, they, we consider policies. These are the policies we consider. The next slide. Sorry. The national telecommunication policy, because the way we are looking at instruments, directly or tangentially related, when we look at it. Any law that is tangentially, any policy, law, or regulation that is directly or tangentially related, we will look at it. And that was the kind of thing. And one of the things that I want to request this very distinctly gathering to do before we leave here today, the attendant government out there, please kindly ensure that you put in your email address. Because we will want to send the abridged document to you. So that after you are giving your input here today, if you go back and you have some further considerations, you can send us a mail that these are additional things that I want you guys to consider. It will be very helpful for us. Yes, the next one. These are the laws, starting with the Constitution, that we consider. NCC Act, uh, NITDA Act, Freedom of Information, Wireless Telegraphy, National Broadcasting Commission, Copyright Act. These are the various things that are laws, cyber security, which the Senate has passed, but the lower house is yet to pass. It. The next one. These are the regulations that we examine at the end of the day. Uh, the one on telecom subscribers, universal access and universal service, telecommunications networks, interconnection regulations, type approval regulations, NCC consumer code, NCC enforcement processes and regulations, competition pri uh, practices. Next one. Guidelines for provision of internet services, international gateway access and voice over protocol, Guidelines for provision of internet services. Guidelines for consultations by Nigerian Telecommunications Commission. NCC dispute resolution guidelines. The guidelines on data protection and the guidelines on short code operation in Nigeria. These are the various guidelines that we have. The next. Now, summary of our findings on the statutory framework. What were the things that we found with statutory framework? As I said, we examined 30 instruments, IA, three policy documents, seven statutes, including the Constitution, one bill that is ongoing, then seven regulations and 12 guidelines. Multitude of laws, regulations, and, guide and guidelines, there are so many of them, that are related directly or tangentially. There is no dedicated legal framework for cloud computing. It is governed by provisions that are scattered under numerous legislations. There is no dedicated privacy laws. You see the Constitution protect, protecting, but the Constitution will protect in a broad way. You now see a lot of strands coming out that will constitute exceptions that can effectively be abused. And you see other jurisdictions, they have made provisions for such. Nigeria is yet to achieve that. That's why we said no dedicated privacy laws. There are so many gaps and disconnects in the current legal framework. When you see the final report that will come out early in the new year, one of the things that we will find is when we pick an instrument, we will identify what is the what is the overall view, what is the overall position of this law, what is it looking at. We will go to what is the what are the main legislations that are related to this project. We now go to another section, which will be what are the challenges, constraints that are likely to arise in relation to cloud computing from this law, policy, regulation, or guideline. That was how we did So you will see that for every of those instruments that I showed this distinguished gathering earlier, you will see the extensive work that has been done on them at the end of the day. Not much awareness of even the direct or tangentially applicable laws. If you mentioned it when she was up here, that people don't even know some of the things they are doing are very much involved in cloud computing. People don't know their rights. And at the end of the day, all of these things, the laws are there in some ways. 
So we identified this. And we said, present trend is not encouraging for consumers and service providers. Because how do you deal with bigger regulatory contractual issues that may arise in the course of your relationship? A win-win relationship is a relationship where everybody from the starting point, they know their rights, they know their limits. When you try it and have a relationship with somebody, where you think from the starting blocks, I play the first one of him. I have the advantage. I am the super, the super power in this relationship. It's a pirate victory. Six months, one year, two years down the line, that fellow is going to wake up and is going to ask for his rights. And that is when you realize that you are in the So at the end of the day, the only thing that works is when everybody is happy in the relationship. The next slide. Now, coming to analysis and findings in relation to SMEs and the education sector. We started with the SMEs, and what you find is, out of it, we did a response by gender. Out of it, 57 respondents across the focus states, 523 were male, 334 were female. Next one. By age, the age bracket within the SMEs. Now, what I'm presenting is relation to SMEs. I will do that for SMEs, I will do that in the education sector, and then the regulatory institution. The end bracket within the SMEs that were more receptive to the discourse are 31 to 40 years, 25 to 30 years, and 41 to 50 years, in order of their, uh, how receptive they are. 31 to 40 years, they had the highest interest, and you see it on the chart here. The service industry, hotel, tourism, entertainment, technology, has the highest number of respondents while the extractive industry has the lowest respondent. Next one. Sector organization services and the technologies adopted. In terms of plant services technologies adopted, the private sector invests more in software as a service. Because if you look at what I indicated earlier, you see software as a service, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. The the private sector, the investment in software as a service with 303 respondents compared to infrastructure and platform services, which has 104 and 100 respondents, respectively. The next slide. Response by firm size. 44% of respondents were from organizations that had between 10 to 49 employees. 37% were from those that had less than 10 employees, while about 19% had, had between 50 and 300 employees. This again, shows an indication of how fledgling the SMEs are at the moment. The next slide. Response by year of establishment. We looked at this in the context of more than five years, one to five years, less than a year. Those who have already adopted, you see that the prevalence of those who have adopted are companies that have been in existence for more than five years, followed by those who are between one to five years. This will not be a surprise because those who have been in exam for more than five years, they have gone through the thing, thick and thin of quite a number of things, so they have a need for 